problem in the fillet welded joint let me read the problem first two plates of size 200 by 100 mm and 250 by 10 mm uh, grade fe 410 are to be joined by a lap joint design the soft fillet weld for the full strength of the joint here they ask to join the two plates of different sizes 200 by 10 mm 250 by 10 mm by using the lap joint so here we have to design a fillet weld only they given as the the welding is done at the shop the strength of the joint is not given therefore we have to calculate the strength of the smaller plate that will be your strength of the joint based on the given data i have drawn this diagram initially i don't know the length of the weld here i am going to i plan uh, plan to provide a weld on the three sides one is at the end at the end the length of the weld is fixed as 200 mm uh, other one is at the sides according to the strength of the joint i will work out that length of the joint required which is excess to 200 mm i will divide that length and provide one at the top edge another at the bottom side okay first, first we will calculate the tensile strength of the plate tdg equal to ag into fy by gamma m0 okay there ag is the gross area of the plate the gross area is a smaller area of the plate smaller size of the plate is 200 by 10 so 2000 mm square then yield strength fy is 250 mega pascal okay gamma m0 is 1.1 that value is obtained from table 5 page number 30 okay so after substituting all the values in this equation we can get the strength as 454.54 kilo newton next we have to calculate the strength of the weld for 1 mm length the fillet weld design equation is provided in the code in the class 10.5.7.1 that is fu by root 3 into 1 by gamma mw into aw aw is the area of the weld let me go to that page this is that class 10.5.7.1.1 that deals with the fillet weld design center of the fillet weld fwd is fwn by gamma mw where fwn is fu by root 3 here they missed it to add that uh, area of the weld to get the strength we have to multiply a stress with the area here area is area of the weld area of the weld can be obtained by multiplying the length into throat thickness here first we will find the strength of the weld for 1 mm length then total load divided by strength of the weld for 1 mm length will give the length of the weld so first i will find the size of the weld to calculate the throat thickness t okay throat thickness t equal to 0.7 into s that is k into s where k equal to 0.7 okay. first we will calculate the minimum size of the weld minimum size of the weld is provided in the table 21 let me go to that page table 21 to get the value for minimum size of the weld the minimum size of first run or, or the single run fillet weld is that depends upon the thickness of the member thickness of the uh, uh, thicker part okay here the thickness of the member is 10 mm up to and including 10 mm the minimum size required is 3 mm so the minimum size of the weld is 3 mm then maximum size of the weld maximum size of the weld we have to refer to the figure 17a whether the sections connected are having square edges or curved edges in the 17a we are able to see that the plates are having square edges only therefore maximum size can be obtained as thickness of the member minus 1.5 will give the maximum size of the weld so here the thickness of the member is 10 mm 
so i am deducting 1.5 mm then i get the maximum value as 8.5 mm so i got the lower limit as well as the upper limit lower limit is 3 mm upper limit is 8.5 mm in between them any value you can assume it here i have assumed that size of the weld as 8 mm therefore effective throat thickness t equal to k in ts 0.7 into 8 gives the 5.6 mm where k is the constant that value can be obtained from table 22 the value of k for different angle between the fuse and faces here for lap joint are almost all the fillet weld will have angle about 90 degree therefore constant k will be 0.7 so next i will substitute all the values in that equation to find the strength of the fillet weld for 1 mm length where fu is 410 grade therefore 410 divided by root 3 into 1 by gamma mw gamma mw is the partial safety factor for the weld if the welding is done at the soft means it will be 1.25 if the welding is done at the field means it will be 1.5 these values are available in table 5 page number 30 where length of the weld is 1 mm effective throat thickness is 5.6 multiplying this we can get the strength of the weld for 1 mm is 1060.508 newton per mm next we need the effective length of the weld required equal to strength of the plate here plate divided by strength of the weld for 1 mm so strength of the plate is worked out in the first step as 454.54 kN so first i will convert that into a newton by multiplying 10 power 3 divided by strength of the weld for 1 mm is 1060.508 i got that effective length required is 428.61 mm here we are going to provide wells in the shape of c so the c means we are having only two edges so, sorry two ends so we have to provide end written of two times size of the weld at the two ends so totally i need to add four times size of the weld here the size of the weld is 8 mm therefore two ends therefore two two into two s so so total effective length required is 460.61 mm required i am plan to provide 466 mm how i can provide that 466 mm at the ends at the end we have we have to provide for a length of 200 mm let us see the figure we are providing the weld in the shape of c so the end the end we have provide for a length of 200 mm the rest value has to be divided into two that will be provided on the either sides one at top another at bottom so total 466 minus 200 divided by 2 is 133 mm i have marked in that figure so provide 8 mm fillet weld for a length of 133 mm on either side of the plate in addition to that 200 mm length on the end